and hello, and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 2. This time, we've beaten the game, and it's been a little while. Sorry, my life has become a bit more of a life in recent days, I suppose, but we are at a point where Torna, the Golden Country, the DLC, the additional thing on top of everything else. So, shall we jump into it? Yes. Yes, we shall. I don't know much about what to expect from this outside of it being something that allegedly... Ooh, yeah, so this is like the uh, definitive edition where it's a whole different thingamabob. Got it. Uh, so, uh, what I do know about it uh, the general placement... I'm trying to remember what chapter it was. It's been a while, so there are at least some details that are a little foggy in my brain from playing the main game. Uh, but <laughs> with that in mind, uh, it was basically... I believe what people have said and what I've gotten the impression from just other stuff is that it's like a flashback sort of thing. It's the earlier stuff in some capacity that explains some of the backstory for a lot of the characters in a lot more detail than the main game went into. That is the impression and my expectation going in, but I'll leave it at that because we've waited a while for me to actually come back to this, so I'm not going to make us wait more. I'm going to play on normal or easier the options. Yeah, normal. Eh, it's fine. Quite a few people have said that they are curious how much I would like the design the changes. was 3,564. The 107th Indoline Praetor, Rodalis, had sent an armed expedition against the country of Sia. Its capital, Amranta, fell overnight and sank beneath the clouds, along with the rest of the Titan. The destruction of Sia shocked all the nations of all rest. Officially, the act was attributed to a military alliance led chiefly by Indol and the emerging power of Mor Ardain. In fact, it had been the work of one blade, the Aegis, a man known as Malos, said to be the architect's word incarnate. Back then, neither Laura nor myself knew how closely his fate would prove to be tied with ours in the days to come. Oh boy. You're that eager to die? Then allow me to assist. They jumped into that quickly. So people were commenting, I remember, they were curious what I think of the systems. Because maybe to some people's displeasure or agreeance even, there definitely was quite a few things with the main game that are overtly grindy in ways that I, I don't... Jesus, a whip. Oh, okay. Interesting. Overtly grindy that really don't need to be and they don't mesh nearly as well together is a whole package is the first game which I think did perfectly so that's the uh, very high bar to clear but they seem to have good teamwork I'll say that there's no end to them and it's not just the Vulcan Ferris even the Balufa is caught up in it Laura, can you smell it? Oh. Oh, it stinks like... Like a Gonzalez? Or is that not monkey enough for... Ah, I'm not sure. That doesn't seem monkey enough yeah, to be Gonzalez. Yeah, no doubt about it. Blood. It's driving them crazy. Feel the 
feels like it's gonna lead me into fighting. Okay! So... How did I play this game again? It's been a little while. <laughs> uh, approach an enemy and press R to target them. With an enemy targeted, press A to draw weapons. A character with a weapon drawn will auto-attack. This sounds familiar. It's jazzy. I, I, I like the jazzy ones. Wasn't Definitive Edition's main battle theme jazzy? Maybe that's why I'm remembering it. Uh, so target, draw a weapon. These guys should be no and, They'll live uh, with, this. with every auto attack hit, your art gauges will fill up slightly. This is called our recharge. With the gauge full, press the corresponding button to use the art. Got it. I don't know how much might be different. So I don't want to skip things under the assumption that it's the same. If you use an art at the precise moment of an, uh, when an auto attack connects, you can cancel into... Okay. Uh, you can cancel into uh, arts and specials too by unlocking certain nodes on affinity charts. It becomes possible to cancel arts into other arts. A successful cancel will charge the special gauge more than usual and it's worth learning this tricky technique if you want to maximize efficiency. Uh, teams composed of a driver of the blaze, a level, blah, 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 okay. So... I don't know how wide that window might be. We're not using his, uh... Weapon. Interesting. Uh, in a battle, his team is split between vanguard and rear guard positions. The character in the vanguard is the attacker, while the rear guard plays support. Yeah, I was wondering what was going on down there. You, as the player, directly control the vanguard. The rear guard will attack and fight buffs automatically. Okay. Oh, I draw a weapon. Why am I getting to do that? Uh, how do I... I feel Can I change? Now that's more like... Uh, catch. Oh boy, I'm, I'm almost dead. Once the rear guard fills up, you can switch. Uh, when you trigger Vanguard switch, the rear guard will move up to trade places the Vanguard while attacking with their switch art. After the switch, the new Vanguard's art gauges will be full, ready to be used immediately. So, using Vanguard switch is a good way to press an attack. With no more help! Okay, I think the level up saved me. <laughs> I'm so close to dying! How would have this handled that? Uh, specials. Oh, nah. I mean, I've already done specials. Uh, using arts will turn uh, into charge of the special gauge, and this is uh, called special recharge. When this gauge is full, you can press A to use a special. So the main both vanguards have their own specials then? Uh, you can charge special gauge up to beyond level 1, all the way up to 4, whereas level 1 has the vanguard attack alone, 2, 3, and 4 are a real team effort. But first, here's a free special gauge to top up so you can try using a level 4 special. I was an admire orange, it's flawless coordination, sure. Hope it doesn't die before... <laughs> when using a special up button challenge will pop up, press the right button, etc, etc. Not the, not the best 
way to show off your nice animation when the camera starts glitching out. I will note that. Laura. Okay, so basically they're changing it so blades and uh the driver actually switch between fighting and not fighting. Yeah? It actually didn't look like he was doing his was he doing the little Thank like, you, Jin. Well uh We've got room for improvement. Ether sort of beam thing? Was of he doing what? that? This fighting style. It magnifies our strength, sure, but it leaves us wide open. When the sword is in my hand, you're left defenseless. What? You won't keep me safe? Huh? I'll keep you safe always. I'll keep you safe always. You... you still remember that? I've thought about it. Every day for these 17 years. I'll never forget it. The day you set me free from a life of misery. I see. Okay. Okay, open area. Uh, the feature that the arrow is pointing to right now, compass. Yes, the number above each marker and it gives the distance to that objective. Also, if the objective is located above or below you, you also see that. Okay, so it has the same navigation elements as the base game, which... Yeah, I got used to it, but... It was a learning curve, let's say that, if I remember correctly. Uh, now the arrow... <laughs> I'm being weirdly negative about the base game. I really liked it. It's just one of those things where it's like, there are very distinct elements. It has a lot of ups and downs. And you just... I guess me as a personality, I don't typically talk about the ups nearly as much as I do the downs. Particularly because my brain is always in how could this be better mode sort of thing. Uh, the arrow's pointing you pointing. Now the arrow is pointing to the environmental info. This gives you the name of your current area, as well as the weather and the time. Uh, the minimap gives you an idea of what's around you. Pressing L as you change its zoom and size, and the mark in the center shows you your position and facing. I'm not sure... <laughs> I'm trying to remember how... <sighs> how it tutorialized stuff in the original game. And I remember it not being great. It was actually decent. And I'm trying to remember how much people, like in the comments, helped me out with that. How much I took from that uh, by the time I figured stuff out. Because I did play ahead and I did figure, a lot, uh, figure out quite a bit of stuff that people told me on my own. Before people actually told me when I was playing ahead early on. But at the very least, the, hey, the mini-map tells you which direction you're facing and feels like a, a little overkill. Almost like I wonder if they took the tutorials for bad in the base game and then just made it longer and more in depth or something like that. Rather than like teaching in a more intuitive way. Uh, lastly, your current objective window. This explains what Laura and company should be doing right now. Oh, I accidentally skipped that. In this game, you can check the previous tutorials from the menu. The notification just now will tell you that new options have been added to the menu. Are they available? I vaguely remember someone saying in the base game that the tutorials weren't available anywhere. I don't think I ever went and looked for them again. Mainly because I didn't find them immensely useful as something to just go back and reference. But I'm not sure if I'm remembering that wrong or not. Okay, so here we are, Torna, the Golden Country. Hmm. Let's see. That is a nice sort of storybook, old mythological book sort of background they got going there. I like that, uh, that, I really do like that style, I'll say that. So in that opening cutscene, the um, C O E S I A country—I forgot how they pronounced it. Uh, whatever that was, 
That name didn't ring a bell to me. That's not Torna, or is, is that like a... Was that a different name? I'm trying to remember if they phrased that as the name of the Titan or of the country. I wasn't sure if they were saying, like, this has happened before, it's gonna happen again to Torna, or if this was a Jin saying, oh, Torna went down. I guess it doesn't really matter too much, does it? I suppose it doesn't. Okay, now it's time to go backwards, because if I was a game dev, I'd hide something back here. Okay, I didn't find anything. Oh well. Uh, Lasaria Woodland, where you are right now, is a special kind of area known as a landmark. Uh, all features... All rest features through kinds of location, location, landmarks, secret areas. Instantly traveled to any previously discovered landmark, secret area. Okay. Yep. Much the same. Uh, what I want to do... Very similar. Characters. Team Laura. Uh, how m I'm wondering, are we going to get more blades in this? I wonder. I wonder if they do that, especially since they seem to be going for, like, a direct team-up style mechanic. And I'm not saying set blade is an option here. Art's very similar. He has his own set of arts. That is an interesting dynamic. I don't think that- that's not a bad idea, too. It does sort of... I, you know, I think that's good when you only control one character, like you do in these games. If it was like a party mechanic, then that might get a bit... overcomplicated really quickly. But uh, no, I like that. I think that's a neat approach. I'm interested to see how it will factor into the gameplay balancing, like... how much does your Switch really mean? These guys should be no problem. The fact that you don't regain health is probably... The fact that you don't regain health is probably the biggest thing. There is something going on with the health that I'm not entirely understanding yet. It's like it's not going down immediately. Overconfidence leads to carelessness. But that's war for you, I suppose. There's there's something going on with the health. Where oh, that's a lot of arts that I just acquired. There's something going on with the health where it's like I get hit hard, but then it goes down slowly. That wasn't the case in the original game, right? There wasn't like it wasn't like a temporary damage that maybe you can make up. Huh. These guys should be no problem. They'll I guess they have healing now. I will grow stronger still. I am leveling up quickly, too. Huh. There are a lot of little details to this, like how the specials have- It feels like they have bigger, like, font for the Roman numerals, don't they? Like, that's such an interesting little design decision. Where it's like- I can't help but imagine, and maybe I've just sort of got set up this expectation from people like, I'm curious what you think of the mechanics in this, that I sort of had like a weird expectation for this to be trying to revamp some of the ways they went about the game in the base game. And like little stuff like that sort of stands out to me, I suppose. Because it's like, was that something that they viewed as like a needed change? Because that seems like an odd choice to me. Like, they really wanted to point out specials. Did they think, like, people weren't noticing specials? And they weren't using them and people got frustrated because of that? Because they didn't understand it early enough? Or did they think that people weren't recognizing the differences between, like, 1, 2, 3, 4? Or is it just, like, the specials? It's just a curious thing in my head at the moment, like, Huh. That's an interesting change. I wonder what the logic be uh, behind that was. These guys. Good work, everyone. I'm all adventured out. Let me know if you want to rest. Interesting weapon slot. Oh, right, because everyone has a weapon now. Attack stone. Have I only picked up one accessory? I thought I picked up more than that. There's another thing, too. Weapon modification. Okay, so there's still cores. And ox cores. 
thing. That seems... I've been picking up some sort of, like, emblem-looking thing, too, which I'm not in... Like, it looked vaguely familiar. Yeah. Beast meat. Oh, that's a promising thing for the crafting system. We're getting meat, eh? As a person who is not typically a big fan of crafting systems, I will say... I was gonna say this is a nice little forest, but then suddenly burn down village. Hmm. Oh. What's his face? I'm not great. What happened? Are you alone? Oh, this is happening quickly. Looks like the only survivor. These burn patterns don't look like Malice's handiwork. Must have been humans. Looting and pillaging while the world burns. Hey, it's okay. Would you like to come with us? You don't have to worry, really. We're all good people. Promise. Hmm. I do remember the scene coming up in the main game. Can you walk? You can. Good going. We are all good people was all, is an interesting line to say now. And your family? Are we going to get led to a group? Were they there with you? Should we go back and... Mikhail. Hmm? My name is Mikhail. Hmm. Oh, right. I'm Laura. And he's... I don't have a family. I was sold to this village from Estem. So I'm all alone. I see. Hmm. Right then. Starting today, we're going to be your new family. We'll take you back to our friends and... You people? You're strangers. You don't have to pretend to care. Uh... uh <laughs> you don't beat around the bush, do you? He's going to be a handful, this one. Though, really, I was just the same once. Very well. Friends first, then. Not family. How's that sound? Laura. Hmm? What's up? I'll scout the area. Look after him. Oh, of course. Be careful. And Jin. I know. So back in the original game, he was using that to hide the whole blade thing. Is he doing the same thing here? Oh, hey, Indel. What was that you said, Baldrick? The sea and capital of Omrantha has fallen. Or rather, it was annihilated. Praetor Redalus. So it has come to pass after all. Respectfully. You aren't much of an actor, Eminence. It appears you are not surprised at all. We heard disturbing rumors circling among the Magisters. Amalthus, whom you recently elevated to Quester. People wonder if this calamity has anything to do with that man's blade. With such extraordinary power, is it really wise to... Uh, no matter whose power affected it, it is sure to serve the greater glory of Indol. Oh, okay. The architect will surely be pleased. I see his game. Eminence, do you believe it can be controlled? If it cannot, I will let him take the blame. I have spoken. Thank you for your report, Magister Baldrick. You may return to your duties. Hmm. Yeah, the typical power-hungry person using their position. 
and then putting others in the position to do the dirty work. That typical, let's say, trope. Uh, this looks like a good spot to set up camp. Yeah, I'll start preparing the food. Oh wow, you're a star, Jin. What do you reckon you'll make? Let's see now. I should be able to get my hands on a few choice ingredients around here. If we can find some torn and drown, deviled onions, and sour avocado, uh, avocados, I could stew them together. You like trout stralu, right? Oh, it's absolutely divine! You'll join us for a bite to eat, won't you, Mikhail? I guess. Perfect. Then let's set to work and hunt for those ingredients. All three of those things should be easy to come by around here. No need to tr uh, travel off the beaten path. Got it. So I was wondering, because it's the comment... Oh, hi, guest character. It's the comment, we are all good people. Seems like a really weird thing to say for two people, you know? Which, uh, her later comment of, we'll bring you to our friends, makes me feel as though she's currently part of a group, right? Uh, what you're looking at right now is a collection point. Check here to uncover collectible items. You'll find collection points all over. All rest and field skills and other stuff. This is becoming addictive. What? You did it once, Laura. You did it once and you already think you're addictive. Aren't we intrepid? Oh no. She's getting addicted. Addicted to what do you even want to call that? Massaging the ground? This is becoming addictive. <laughs> uh, do I technically have enough? Looks like it. Right. We've got our ingredients. Fire's nice and toasty. I think we're all set for the night. Jin, would you mind making a start on the cooking? I'll get right to it. The plate's doing the cooking. Got a problem with that? Mm. Better gin than me. If I were in charge, I'd probably end up losing a limb, peeling off the veggies. You know, there is something that strikes me very familiar about Laura. Is it just me, or is her face very similar to Rex's? Maybe that's just me, but she feels like she's got a very similar face to Rex's. It's not all one-sided, though. Laura has her own talents, like making charms. That I could never do. Right, we make up for each other's strengths and weaknesses. Blade or driver, no one has to shoulder all the burden. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna make a start in the trout straw loom. Won't take long. Oh, cool. A camp menu. That's neat. I actually, you know what? Crafting feels a lot more charm making let's get down to business is this basically an accessory pouch items oh okay huh interesting not that i have shit to do anything with that that's interesting home cooking i like i love the fucking look on his face in that that is that is I actually know it'll be worth the wait that's actually sort of absolutely beautiful <laughs> It came together nicely. How sad. That village, I mean. It is. That blade, Malos. He didn't do that, did he? The towns raised by the Aegis were completely obliterated. I plan to inform the mercenaries of this. How could a person do something so awful? Anyway, you should rest now. We should be able to meet up with Hayes tomorrow. Oh, yes. I wonder if she's found any leads on Mother. I hope so, anyway. I'll prepare food, then rest up. Oh, that's kind of you. Thanks. 
trying to remember the specific details of those cutscenes. Uh, if I remember the cutscene where he saved her back when it was something along the lines of... Oh, what was it? So, uh, his, her father was really mad at her for basically activating the core crystal because he wanted to sell it or some shit, right? This was a valuable thing. It's like, oh, it'll go, it'll go back to being a core crystal if I kill you. And then he protected her. I don't think there's any... I don't think there's anything involving a mother if there was a mother there. I assume that was her father in the previous one, I suppose. Um, if that was her mother... Or if there was a mother there, she was very much off the side and not part of the scene too significantly. Mm, that's really hit the spot. You know, I can't really think of anything better than waking up to Jin's cooking. Scrumptious. You scarfed that down quick. Uh... Want seconds? <laughs> Mikhail, relax! He's not gonna bite you. Unless you want him to bite you. Jin, would you bite? No, maybe not. No, that might be a bad idea. Oh, don't let the whole moody thing fool you. He's genuinely concerned about you. Moody thing. Look, if there's anything you need, just tell us, alright? No, I'm fine, really. Okay, I hear you. Listen, I know Jin can seem a bit scary, but he is really very gentle. You'll get used to him. I just need to clean up here, then we can move out. Uh, Valtie can't be far now, can it? Where we're meeting up with Hayes. That's right. There's still a long way to go, but if we keep to the road, it won't take long. Maybe, I don't know if it's just in my head, but I feel like I've got the, the Jin voice. That feels just like the right voice for him. Like, perfectly. Almost. Uh, certain places out in the wild will allow you to make camp. Three things you need you can do at the campsite are resting, crafting, and chatting. Oh, I didn't notice the chatting. I wanna... Okay, uh... Let's... Oh... Yeah, that's fine. I'm curious about the chatting now. Oh, it's already nighttime now. Laura, about that battle earlier. I know, right? We were phenomenal! No, you're trying to do too much. No, I was just thinking, like, we were fucking fantastic! And he's gonna be like, no. No, we weren't. Ah, uh, what? I thought you were going to praise me! I'm only trying to draw out your full power, Jin. You know that. That's fine, and I appreciate it. What I'm saying is, please don't put yourself at risk, Laura. We've been together a long time, haven't we, Jin? Ever since I touched your core crystal as a little girl, and we've been uh, bonded forever as Drive-In Blade. Yeah. It's a bond closer than blood, I think. That's part of the reason why... I want to help you too, see you grow, and be there for you. Interesting. He was very much obsessed with the idea of growing and, like, as a person, as... Like, blades don't get that chance, that idea. That's beautiful, Laura, but you're a driver and I'm a blade. Blades protect their drivers in a fight. It's a natural order of things. Especially since we don't need to worry about being wounded. As long as the core crystal stays intact. But I, on the other hand, am just a human. When a driver dies, the blades return to their cause. That's why you want me to be more careful, right? Exactly. Hmm, right, I get it. Well, it's not like I want to make you anxious in the middle of a fight. Okay. Uh, I promise not to overdo it, and if things start looking bad, I'll be sure to switch out for you. That would be great, thanks. Counting on you then? You know, I never let you down. Ever. Ever. Interesting. Ooh, more chat. So is this basically gonna be the, um... Equivalent of, uh, Heart to Hearts? I don't mind that if it is. That actually seems like a nice change of pace for that system. Oh, I really hope we'll be able to join up with Hayes soon. It isn't far to Felty now. Or Feltley now. In fact, we should be there in no time as long as we stick to the path and not, you know, wait till nightfall again to have another camp. I wonder what Hayes will think of Mikhail when she sees him. Oh, Hayes! That's a name! 
Oh, no, 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 that's the name of, uh, what's her face? What's her face? What's her face? What's her face? Um, and, uh, yeah, I guess we already knew she's part of a group. Because we've seen her practicing and training with people, right? Oh. The memories are starting to come back to me. All the flashbacks were so scattered about that I didn't... I haven't entirely... Even when I was playing the game, I haven't entirely pieced together, like, a, something coherent in my mind. But, uh, it's also been a while now, so... It'll be interesting, that's for sure. Oh, don't worry, Mikai. He's just one of the loveliest people I've ever met. I'll be fine. Okay. Let's go. Ooh, I see a shiny. Uh, why is it... Addictive. Why is it gold instead of blue? Did I get a special... It didn't seem like I got a better item or anything like that. We intrepid? I suppose I did see a pink one, but maybe I'm just used to seeing those from the base game. Huh. It is quite a small little village here. Small enough I wouldn't even call it a village. More like an outpost. Hmm. Okay. Moving on then. Aren't we intrepid? Ah, looks like you found a treasure trove. You've discovered troves of many shapes and sizes. Blades have the right field skills to do stuff and etc. Suspense is killing me. Okay, what field skills does uh, Moody Pants McGee have here? Let's see. Mineralogy. Swift sword play. Ability to strike too fast for anyone except Jin to see or follow. Okay. I'm questioning how that's a field skill, but okay. Fortitude. Collect stuff. Okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Sirius has always had a great capacity at making really interesting environments. Views along the side. Oh. Big ol' enemy I get to ignore for a while. Uh, you probably know, but the bridge is, uh, the bridge ahead is out. It's an obstacle, but not an insurmountable one. Using a blade to be a skill might prove to be a solution. Uh, checked out that with a tree up ahead and witnessed Jin's field skill at work. Got it. No, is this the cutting one? It is! All my might. Basically, it's working in the same way that we would have used, like, Pyrus Flame, right? That's what it feels like. Oh, uh, thought about the whole idea of it being out. Yeah, I'm just gonna jump anyways. So, the sort of, like, slow... Temporary health, I guess you'd probably typically call that sort of mechanic. The temporary health is really interesting, because... How do you get it back, then? Because it doesn't seem like it was automatically back when it ended that, uh... Oh, there's a treasure trove down there still. Oh, gotta keep jumping off that. Hmm. The suspense is killing me. I'm not entirely sure if there's a pre like outside of just taking long. I guess the main thing is you you take longer to die, basically. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that makes sense. You can't just get randomly one shotted. I bet I'll still also be able to be randomly one shotted. Uh, that is actually just a nice little uh, nice to have relative to the base game. That definitely was a thing that just sort of jumps up at you at times. We made it. Good stuff. Doesn't oh. seem so bad. New area. If you try targeting all sorts of enemies, you'll occasionally encounter ones whose target icon looks different from normal enemies. We call those unique monsters. I call them name monsters, and they're a little bit special. Unique monsters are so uh, are much tougher than the regular kind. Even the strongest starvers and all rest often have trouble with them. So, if you take down a unique monster, you'll surely earn the respect of the people all over all rest. That said, they're not a challenge for the faint-hearted. You want to make sure you're prepared. If, uh, you plan on surviving the powerful attacks off and wield. If you defeat a unique monster, a tombstone will remain. A site where it fell, memory of its legendary life, and etc, etc, etc. Much the same. I think they handled it well, so I'm not objecting it to being the same. I thought they handled it very well in the base game. I was like, oh, 20, level 23. Maybe not today. Maybe not right now. Oh, 
Oh, there it is. I was starting to think. You can, you regain the temporary health entirely when you switch out. That's it. That's how that works. That's actually really interesting. It really encourages you to do that. It's basically free health, free healing. That's really cool. That is a really cool mechanic. I like that. I like that a lot. I gotta be honest. I th you know what? I, I already feel very positive about some of the changes that are made. This is becoming addictive. Uh -oh. It gives a real... Uh, it gives... Oh my goodness, come on. Come, come where I can fight you. It gives a real sort of tension to the battle. In terms of like a flow of ups and downs that you create by the switching. And I actually, just like right away, it's, it's actually quite satisfying. It's different than the original game, but... Which is it's not necessarily worse or better, but it does have a nice, unique feel to it, I think. You also have a situation where taking on enemies your level is just... Yep, that's the fight you need to do. Second level 5 jumped in there at the very end. It's like, uh-oh, nope, 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 nope. Do not have anywhere near enough. I guess without, like, a healing... I guess, are we gonna get a party in this? It'll be interesting to see if this is, like, a... Because, like, I, I sort of like the flow to this. If it was just these two and they gave, like, a bunch of skills that you could sort of mix and match, I almost, like, for a DLC expansion sort of thing going on, I could sort of imagine, like, for maybe, like, a full JRPG that might not really, that might wear out as welcome. But for, I don't know how long this is, uh, but for how long these things typically are, uh, I could sort of imagine that being really interesting with the progression system and whatnot. Oh, boy. A lot of enemies. I'm supposed to go this way, though, so I'm not gonna spend too much time worrying about the other one. Uh, direction? Oh, oh. I think we've been spotted. Looks like Hayes isn't here yet. Looks like another outpost type area. What the? Ooh. That feels like the previous description about Mallows. This is. This should be the village of Feltley. It's almost like glass. That much pressure? Rumor among the Mercs says that's the hallmark of the Aegis. But why would he do this? Look out! Jin! Yeah, I don't think this is us. That's nothing. Let's go. Well, I really hope it's like level eight or something like that, or I am. There we go! Level 8 Ages. Perfect. It's probably just the, um, artifice. Or that that's what they're called, right? Oh, that... Wow, those never land in a decent place. Okay, they do have that tether. Is it only when she's... No, it is not just when she's out. I 
Oh, that was good enough. Okay, sure. Uh, I'm guessing he's unpiloted at the moment. The fact that it could get out enough energy to do this, though, has its implications. This is no normal monster. Not an Ardanian Titan weapon, either. Maybe it's Malice's. Get down, you two! <sighs> Holy... For some reason, I forgot about the idea of Mithra being involved in this. That was a close one. Looks like Malos's artifices are still roaming around. Are we gonna... So it was. Actually see him? Is he gonna refuse... Oh, he's gonna refuse to take off the hood the entire time, just as a... Wait, is she... Oh, I need to put her smash off it on again. Hey. <laughs> Wait a minute. I got so used to that that I thought that was the normal look. <gasps> he is a face! The emblem of Torna. You are... Jin, right? Wow, I can't believe it! I came all the way out here and who do I say but the paragon of Torna and his driver? <laughs> You're so young! That core crystal was stolen 17 years ago. Quite a feat to pull off that heist at that age. Are you going to arrest us? Execute us? I don't know yet. I did just save you after all. Oh, how magnanimous. Laura, there's no point in talking. Have it your way. Oh, this is gonna go even worse. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, this is gonna go so much worse. I, I find it hilarious that Mithra is actually. <laughs> no fucking way. Oh no, both of them are up immediately. Yeah, no fucking way. You! Both of you! Huh? Yeah, they didn't seem like they were fighting to kill, so... That last attack 
The force behind it was absurd. I'm amazed. Oh, uh, really? Well, that's just... <laughs> oh, and passing the weapon. What a concept. How did you ever come up with that idea? Oh, well... Is that really new? We were broke. Huh? We couldn't afford meals, let alone another sword. Uh. And so we made do. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. You're kidding. That's pretty good. Yeah, no, that's funny. Oh, man, you guys are the best. I haven't laughed this hard in ages. Huh? I really, really like you two. Um... Uh... Master Adam! Sir! Milton! Oh, thank goodness you're all right. Master Adam, are you hurt at all? Master Adam? You can't be THE Adam Origo. The Lord of Aletta. And fourth in line to the throne of Torna. Fourth? Oh, come on, Milton. I've been with him the whole time. You really think these two would cause any harm? You've been using your dumb artifice again, haven't you? Dumb? So yeah, sure, nothing to worry about, right? <gasps> Milton? Who's this then? Ah, this is Hayes. She rescued me from the jaws of some nasty monsters. Hello. Well, I'd better give her my thanks. Nice to meet you proper. Hayes. Oh, was she with you? I'm sorry to keep you waiting, my lady. Interesting. I see. So that's when... What is that? Sad tale, Laura. <laughs> oh my goodness, he's so dramatic. This is not what I was expecting. Oh, here we go again. I guess it fits with someone who devised the stupid spirit crucible stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness. Don't let it get cold now. Was he in the flashbacks, this kid? He doesn't ring any bells for me, at least. So then, how come you've enlisted with a band of mercenaries? I guess I like the freedom. This way I'm not tied down. So I can help out. With causes I really believe in, you know? Going's tough everywhere you look these days, right? I can't ignore it, can I? I understand. Fat load of good that'll do, in the long run. The world keeps turning anyway. You might think that. But mercenaries and statesmen each have their own views and ways to affect change. It's not in vain. <laughs> A blade siding with humans. You don't see that every day. I think it's blades like you that are rare. Well, duh. You do know what I am, right? Lacking in compassion. Huh? Blades like you really are a rare sight. That may be for the best. <laughs> <sighs> she does seem more arrogant than she is in the future. So, about Jin. I suppose you have to take him away from me. I don't think he could. I could try to slay you right here. Well, I suppose outside of that, yeah. But... But my mission is to stop the Aegis's destruction. To subdue Malos, not to seek out lost trinkets. Who cares about paragons anyway? Huh? How about you two join up? Lend us your strength. You got money to pay? You're incredibly powerful. There's loads I want to pick up from you. Like that trick from before. Let's see. 
will say I found the Paragon on my journey and decided to entrust him to you. To help with Malos. Well, sound plausible? That's just... I'm a mercenary, right? You gotta pay me. You got some good money being old royal heir, or fourth, fourth in the line to the throne? Thingamabob? It is interesting how they feel like they're intentionally subverting Jin and Mithra a little bit. How dare he speak to me like that? He thinks he knows me. Course is the word. Yeah, he is. I meant you. Me? He you meant you're unpolished. After you return to your core, you lose your memories. However, as you gain experience with people, gradually the nature of a blade, rather their feelings, they change and grow. You become more and more human. But you purposely keep yourself apart. Oh, so now it's my fault? No, not at all. I respect that part of you. <laughs> oh boy. Interesting. They definitely feel like they want to... Hey, are you angry? Highlight the character development. About this whole Malos thing. By contrasting it. I'm not. Whatever happens, I'll protect you. Be sure of it. We cannot simply ignore what's happening in the world. But... But what? Please say you'll be careful. <laughs> I will. Um, Your Highness? Just Adam is fine. What is it? The going off to Malos thing. Could it wait a few days? Oh, is there something you need to do first? I... well, yes. You see, Lady Laura seeks the whereabouts of her mother. Unfortunately, she has her mercenary duties to perform. Therefore, I often go out and conduct these searches myself. I see. Then you found her? Yes. Oh. With all that happened yesterday, I did not have the opportunity to say, My lady, your mother is currently residing in a small hamlet called Torigoth. Oh? Torigoth. That's on the edge of Gormot. Ardanian and Sian forces clash out there frequently. It's very dangerous. Indeed. Right. No time to waste. Let us head out there. What? But what about your mission? You don't want to see your mother? That wasn't the question. Of, of course, but... Then let's go. Malos hasn't hit that part of the world yet. It's as good a place as any to look. You're hoping we might find him there? Exactly. That sounds too easy. We go to the village of Torogoth to find Malos. And you go to Torogoth to find your mother. Everybody wins. And once I found my mother, I join up with you? Hmm, that's the general idea. I'll send my people to notify your mercenary friends. And perhaps we could find a place for your mother in the capital. It should be safe there. 
Is this normal princely behavior? You think this is bad? Just stick around for a bit. Nobody's, like, making you come along, you know. Well, unfortunately, a driver and blade are one in body and soul. As if you don't do whatever you feel like anyway. Hmm. Who is this guy? I like this kid. <laughs> I know this is all very sudden. Still, we don't know where we'll run into Malos next. It makes sense to stick together, as much as we can. Interesting. Ooh. Ooh. Isn't that... Oh my goodness, it's that fucker? <laughs> Nam's taken it. That's the blade. And that little brat, too. Is that not her? Is that her father, or did I r interpret that incorrectly before? He got a very generic I, blade. It's blue fist. Yeah, the whole village was wiped out. Found myself some great cool crystals, eh? And I found something else too, something real interesting. Uh huh. Just give me some time to take care of this, okay? I'll be in touch. It's a funny thing. Never thought I'd get to take back that paragon. What I stole in the first place. Da, 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 da. Interesting. Uh, it's really nice to have some more company around here. It really makes fighting a breeze, too. True, we have increased our numbers quite a bit. Well, yeah, what do you expect? The monsters around here don't stand a chance against me. Your powers are on a completely different level, true. That's not what Laura's trying to say, Aegis. Laura doesn't think of blades as mere tools of their drivers. To her, they're part in, uh, partners in arms, am I right? Exactly. When I said we had more company, I was talking about the th uh, all three of you. I don't care whether you're a blade or a driver. I'm just happy we get to share our time together. Okay, then. There's a pretty weird way of thinking, if you ask me. I think so. Yeah, they're really emphasizing it. Um, should we perhaps be on our way to Yanchik Harbor now? If we keep to the road, should take us straight there. The regular road from Yanchik is to Gorman, is it? As far as I know, it's still running, but we should probably hurry all the same. Okay. That probably makes for a fairly decent place. Okay, so Hayes is her blade. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. I was wondering that. That's what it seemed like, but I wasn't sure. Ah, uh, you'll be able to blade switch. When a team contains two blades, performing a switch will ex uh, while exploring in battle, let's you select which blade to participate in action. Okay, so we don't get a nice, like, we can use all the blades. You can perform a blade switch by doing that thing, by combining vanguard switching and blade switching. You can choose the battle participants to suit your playstyle, or as the situation requires. Is it an in-battle thing? Hmm. I guess we'll see next time. Nameless Wander Pun. Okay. Uh, okay, I think that's probably a good place to end this for today now, isn't it? Very interesting. I was wondering what they are going to do to create tension in what is essentially a prequel story. Uh, I'm guessing Laura's personal story is going to be the big thing there, and they're going to be doing a lot of moments where Mithra and Jin's character development sets them on the path that we see in the main game. That's my guess as to the general progression of where they're taking this, so. So, I'll leave it there for today. Next time, we'll get into Torna, 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 Torna. 
and I'll see you all next time. Drive safely, everyone.